It's dinner time. There's the ice buildup so far, bouncing off the roof. Smell of steak. Water. I'm a pro. Hello. I'm gonna do the uh, dinner yep. regular adult. And uh, can I add a five dollar tip to that, please? Sure. Thank you very much. That's a great way to do it, like that. Yep. Thank you. you. Good, you oh. Oh, look at that barbecue chicken. Take a peek. Same, 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 same. Everything's the same. Maybe I have to do that chicken right now. Look okay. that. That's gravy. It's got chips, more toast. The liver and onions are still there. More chicken. It says pancake, but I don't think so. It looks more like turkey. That looks good. It's like rice. Check out the salad area again. I want more of that. I'm trying to do different things for you guys. Got iceberg lettuce, spinach, romaine. Let's go for it. A little bit of romaine. Definitely do this. Caesar dressing. I like mushrooms. This is a not a Caesar salad, it's a Ken salad. A few croutons, why not? And I really like the seafood salad so much, I'm gonna do more. I was kind of hoping they'd have a lot more choice. This is gonna be like my seafood. Caesar KBD salad. Let's do a lemon wedge. Let's get crazy. That's all I can fit on there, I think, at the moment. And we've got some tortillas, flour tortillas. Oh, it looks like it's uh, taco night. Taco meat, taco rice, seasoned pinto beans, more french fries, hoagies. I think that's, oh yeah, baked, uh, breaded fish. <gasps> Shrimp, can't wait to come back for that. Cauliflower, and ham, broccoli and rice casserole. That's what that is. Broccoli and rice casserole. But we're going to squeeze some lemon on it. Whoa, whoa, juicy lemon. Juicy lemon. That went everywhere. Clean up, aisle four. No, it smells like pledge. Let's get into this KBD Caesar salad. KBD seafood Caesar. I'm not supposed to eat that. Just shove it in. I knew I could do it. I'm kind of hoping when we get here at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, as soon as the doors open, they might have other things on there that they weren't here this, this afternoon when I got here. Or I guess this morning when I got here. Clearly I should have come on a Saturday. I apologize, nobody told me. I didn't investigate. So the Parmesan cheese mixed with this and the Caesar dressing, it's very good. I'm really hoping they have different things, not the buffet tomorrow. I have a fear it's gonna be all exactly the same thing. It'd be nice if they changed, like every day they had something, one or two or three different things that are different. All done the salad course, let's go get some meat. Gotta try some of this. Broccoli rice casserole. That looks awesome. Oh, look at that cheese pull. Try the fry. I'm gonna try that fish. Mm. 
a shrimp. That is sick shrimp. Get some of this. One slice, please. Thank you, that's perfect. Just throw it right on top. I don't care. <laughs> Thank you. First of all, I gotta get this ham out of my seafood sauce. <laughs> don't fall off the plate, dude. All right, annoying. Cheers. Very crunchy, succulent shrimp on the inside. Very crunchy breading. I'm gonna need a few of those. Make room. So I saw a few people standing there with a takeout container. And as they go around, fill up their takeout container and that's what they pay for, for the takeout. Let's try this cheesy broccoli. Look at that. Cheesy broccoli rice. But it's like a rice, cheesy rice casserole. Look at that crispy cheese on the outside. Mmm. That's the best part. Let's give this fish a try. I'll do it without anything first. It's like a nice white fish. Shrimp is the best thing so far. Looks like I didn't get enough seafood sauce. French fries? They've probably been sitting there for a little bit, so they're not as crispy as they possibly could be. Let's give this ham a try. Mm. The breading on this isn't bad. That was a nice plate. I guess we'll finish this up and go we'll see if there's anything we haven't tried. And then we'll do dessert. Another plate done. Now we got pecan pie. Mm. Yeah, just a little bit more. Just a little bit, thanks. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> going, going, so. Perfect, thank you. Oh my God, there's steak there didn't go in there and the other guys like theirs medium well. But uh, I'm going whatever. Let's eat it. Let's check out this steak. It's funny, I had a huge steak like this. I mean, cut it, showed the first guy in this size. Medium well. And they cut the shoulder to the second guy, medium well. I'm like, I'll just take what you got, buddy. I'll just take what you got. And I think that's perfect. A little pink, a little brown. That's perfect for me. You need like a little steak sauce. Mmm. Charbroiled. Very nice. It's always nice to get those char pieces. Definitely get my protein in today. I'm getting everything in today. Thanks, Golden Corral. I'm so glad I didn't miss that. Get all those little bits and pieces. That was very good. Let's get dessert. They do have a soft serve ice cream. Maybe you have to ask for it. This thing looks crazy. It's got cookies. Cream. It's probably the same thing, possibly. It's definitely some type of a pudding. I'm trying to get a cookie, there we go. The carrot cake is gone. You got cookies. So I guess you have to ask for the ice cream. The blueberry pie is gone. Are you guys gonna have another blueberry pie soon? Okay. I guess if you want ice cream, you have to ask for it or? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Thank you. I think I'll take you up on a bowl of ice cream, please. What flavor, sir? Oh, uh, let's go vanilla, I guess. That's good enough, thanks. Have a great night. Let's go a little bit of... Hot caramel. Oh boy. And then again, doing doing this with one hand. Oh, there we go. Not so good. A little bit more. <laughs> plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Whoop! There. Look at I caught it. 
So you got different kind of sprinkles, chocolate. I don't want sprinkles. There's my expert poured sundae, blueberry pie, and some type of goo. Forgot a spoon again. Don't forget your spoon. So I like hot fudge and caramel on the same sundae. Look at that, nice. Mmm. A nice French vanilla ice cream. It's so cold. The caramel is uh, thickened up really easy, really quickly. It's like putting hot syrup on snow and it turns into taffy. I'm not sure if you heard the guy. They used to have the ice cream machine turned around so you could serve yourself. But the kids were crazy and uh, we're just double fisting it and letting it go all over the floor or whatever. So they have to stop doing that. I'm thinking this is the same. It's it's like the banana pudding, but it's it's like a pudding plus whipped cream plus cookies. I guess it is the, maybe their nighttime uh, banana pudding. Again, they, it looks like they do a lot of repeat dishes. I would definitely love to come here on the weekend and check out their breakfast menu. Big clump of fudge. This has been an awesome day. I'm very glad that there was two guys standing back there and then you could ask, ask them if there's more of something and luckily there was one more pie and i got a slice of it first slice i'm going to finish the rest of this off then we'll head out to the self camper and get them all set up oh, oh, oh. Ooh, brain freeze oh my god Oh, that hurt. Oh. All done dinner. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah. All done. Here you go. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you. It's a cold and stormy night. We hopefully won't freeze. Let's get this thing stealthed out before people see my lights. I'm gonna take my boots off, change my socks, put on my Sweatpants, track pants, whatever you want to call them. Lounging pants. And that's what I'll be sleeping in tonight. I'll have to change my shirt because it's still probably damp a little bit from the walk. And uh, then we'll watch a couple shows and then go to bed. So. I'd like to thank every single person for stopping by today. We'll see you in the morning. Again, uh, we'll probably get up probably eight, seven or eight o'clock, depending on the traffic. And uh, we will probably find a Starbucks or maybe a mom and pop coffee shop around here, uh, just inside the lobby of the hospital. They had a coffee shop in there and the, the aroma uh, from the coffee that they were brewing was very intoxicating. I almost felt like stopping and grabbing a coffee there, but if I have too many coffees in a day, I get wired and I can't sleep. So it just smelt good. I look forward to tomorrow and maybe we'll find something in the area and then we'll make sure we are one of the first people in the door here at Golden Corral, Rochester.
Good night. Good morning, guys. It is uh, Thursday, November 9th. Uh, waking up at Golden Corral, and it is 10.6 degrees Celsius in the van. If I click the little button on the back, uh, it is 51.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, so, perfectly comfortable in here. Uh, I did start sleeping with the electric blanket on plugged it into the jackery and uh where is it down there but it got a bit too hot and I, like probably maybe an hour or two later i just unplugged it from the jackery and just shut it off and then i managed to get through the night no problem uh, i'm looking forward to our minus 10 videos coming up in the near future as it gets colder and colder I'm hoping to do at least one snowstorm um, video somewhere along the line. I'm not sure where we'll be doing that. It depends on when this, the first big snowstorm happens. Anyway, let's get up, take down this stealth stuff, uh, change my clothes, and then we'll go get a coffee. We'll find hopefully either a mom and pop shop or like a Starbucks or something. I also used this uh, heater in here for probably the first couple hours while I was just lying here going through emails and, and uh, stuff like that. And that kept me warm. This thing's great. It's called the Mr. Heater Portable Buddy and it's a propane and it works phenomenally, but don't ever <laughs> have it on while you're sleeping. That's bad. Also realized, gotta change your clothes before you take down the stealth camping stuff. Although my windows are tinted, they're not 100% tinted. Change your clothes first, then on stealth. I'll change, I'll put my jacket on in a minute. Let's get this stuff on. dressed up and nowhere to go so I think I remember if I walked back that way when I walked back that way um, there was a Tim Hortons that way so there might be other coffee shops if not looks like we'll do Tim Hortons Tim Hortons and Stone Cold Creamery in one building that's another place I've needed that. Stone cold. Hello, large black coffee, please. 
All right, let's go back to Golden Corral and enjoy our coffee. They said it was gonna rain all day, but it's not raining right now. It rained like crazy last night and thunderstormed. A few thunder strikes woke me up. Let's have a sip of that nectar from the gods. Good morning. Uh, before we, before I left, my wife says it looks like your tires are a little low. So uh, there's a home outlet there. I'm just gonna go in there and ask one of the guys or girls if they know of like a gas station around here that gives free air. I don't think I have any U.S. coins, and the ch the ones that charge money are usually like. 25 cents or whatever so yeah I think I have a, a bag of US coins but it's in the the big van so I'm just gonna go here ask them if they know of a place that has free air some places get free air some places don't I figured I'd check them first they kind of look a little pudgy so 30 I think they're supposed to be at 35 one of them is down to 25, which is definitely not good. It's not good for gas mileage, it's not good for anything. So the guys in this place called Home Outlet, kitchen, bath, floors, and more, super nice dudes. And they're like, Mr. Tire, just down the road. They could possibly help you out. Helped him out, it's just down Henrietta. Let's go get our tires inflated. There it is, Mr. Tire. I'm kind of hoping they uh, have the free air like we used to get when we were kids just ride your bike up to the side of their bay, they have a free hose, do your air, no problem. Hey guys, how you doing? Just noticed a couple of my tires are really low. I was just wondering if somebody could just check the pressure on them. Yeah, can I just pull up to the side of the building over here? Okay, so we come right out. Thank you. Super nice guys, you just said pull up to the side of the building, parallel, and uh, he'll check. It'd be nice to have properly inflated tires for the ride home. A little bit safer too, right? Looks like they used to have a hose out here. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you very much. What do I owe you? Okay, thank you very much, have a great day. Well, if you're looking for super friendly people to help you out with some tire issue, <laughs> come to Mr. Tire here in Rochester. We've got two hours to kill before we uh, get back to the Golden Corral. I'm really hoping they change a few things up, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Got some work done, which is fantabulous, and, uh, but, We've got another hour to go before Golden Corral opens. And uh, I really am a two coffee kind of guy. So we are gonna zip over. There is a little mom and pop shop just around the corner that looked like it was open. And it looked like they probably have possibly good coffee. There's a place called Golden Harvest Cafe. And of course, I'm, I pulled off the road. Oh, there it is. Let's go check this place out. Right. Hopefully they got good coffee. Oh. Oh, very nice. Very cool. Oh boy. Look at the size of those donuts. Got a little sitting area. Hello, can I have a latte, please, large? Um, we don't have an espresso right now. Oh, no, okay, uh, just a regular coffee, would be great. All right. Black. We're hoping to add it soon. So we have the machine, um, we just haven't got yeah, it. Yeah, as soon as I saw the machine, I'm like, right. I'm in. <laughs> have a good one. Thank you, too. Morning rise, decaf, no way, dark night. Let's do Love of Italy. Why not? Got the last of it. That's the one I want. Chocolate cream. I bet that's it. Because there's the Bavarian. 
This is probably filled with whipped cream. Nice. Very cool. I think I, I think I had to do like 10 pumps to get this thing full. Ah, oh, so hot. Not bad. I'd like to have tried the other one too. Should have like done like a little test sip of the other one. I'll do that next time. That will do for sure. Very nice coffee. Okay, let's go back to the Golden Corral. We've got about 45 minutes left before she opens. And getting hungry. Minute back and there are other people sitting in their cars waiting. Now either they're waiting to go into work or they're waiting to go in and eat. Hmm, we'll find out. 35 minutes left, then we're going in.